Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be installing some cold cutter studs in the snow dog track, basically. So last year I put um, cold cutter studs, and let me give you the exact part number right here before you guys go any further. Um, I'll leave a link for this below from Amazon. That's the only place I could find them, like get shipped pretty quickly to me. Um, but they are the 58 KK-58250-10 cold cutter screws. So I started my track last year with a 1-2-1-2 pattern, and it doesn't seem to be enough. It might be just the Snow Dog super lightweight. So I'm gonna throw some more studs in and show you guys how to do it real quick. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll walk you through the process. And I think all the tracks are kinda created the same on Snow Dog. They actually have spots for the studs. So let's walk you through the whole process. And like I said, welcome to the messy garage. So I have the snow dog propped up so the track is free and the kill switch is disconnected so I don't pop start it by accident, which would be very rare because I'm going very slow with the track, obviously. And you can also pop your belt off if you have the opportunity. Belt's easy to pop off, so I'm gonna pop that off right now. So I just popped the belt off. That's gonna make the uh, track spin a lot easier, just any any friction, because there's a lot of friction on all those bogey wheels and stuff like that. So I have it propped up on two by four. that goes to the frame on a couple of jack stands, and it's an eight foot two by four. That makes it really easy to lift this thing up without any work. And then I just have a block in the front holding that up. So that makes it really easy. If you have like a stand to put it on, like a big table, that's obviously easier, but I'm lazy and it's about negative eight degrees out here right now in my garage. So I'm trying to do this fairly quick. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna remove the back bumper um, just to get at the track easier so I don't have to bend down or underneath the sled. The snow dog. Just take out those screws real quick. And then I did the one pattern, as you guys can see. So there's the one. And then again, I s skipped a log and then did a, a two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run some studs on the outside and hopefully that helps. And these studs have actually held up actually really good. The light's good enough. They've actually held up pretty, pretty good uh, for a whole year and I'm still running on some of the, the tabs there because I don't run it on dry pavement very often. So these are the cold cutter screws. So they're 5 eighths long, and it's hard to focus on this kind of stuff, but uh, they're basically super sharp on the tips there. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a impact driver or even a screw gun and their quarter inch socket, and we're gonna start going is you want it to go in the center of those lugs as much as possible, so. And the reason I'm doing this is because I feel like sometimes I don't have enough traction. And I think this comes in a bag of like 250. So I'm gonna do a V pattern. And I'm gonna do Stud this a lot more than it already is. As we start with the one, one there, skip a lug, and then, or one more track down, and then do two. And I'll let you guys know in the comments if these work out for me, and then uh, another one further out, next lug out, and then next lug out, and then back to uh, the center. And then I'm gonna keep doing that. So I won't make you, like I said, it's really cold out here. Uh, I won't make you watch me do all of these. I don't know how many left I have to do, um, but I have to do all of them. And hopefully this gets me just a little more traction on glare ice. I do have to make some skags or some slide things for my sleds because I was flew off the other day. But um, like I said, I'm gonna leave the link for the Amazon link for the cold cutters below. Five eighths is what Snow Dog actually recommends. And uh, click on that link, buy your own, and. It really helps on glare ice, otherwise this thing just sits there and spins. Thanks for watching.